Hello, and welcome to Gunpoint. Phone is ringing. Did you just get thrown out of a plate glass window? No? I work at the gun company across the road. Someone just got thrown out of your apartment window. I don't want to talk about it. I was actually about to call you about something else, but now I'm more interested in this. We'll try to move on. What did you need? My name is Selena Delgado. My boss, Rook, says you're some kind of freelance spy. I might have a job for you. Want to come up? Sure, buzz me in. So yeah, like I was saying, welcome to Gunpoint. This is a uh, very fun game. And that... Oh. Okay. So she's dead. Um... So yeah, we'll uh, sort of see what's going on. Uh, she's dead. Can't really do anything here. So, welcome to Gunpoint. 24 seconds earlier. Congratulations on purchasing your new Bullfrog brand hyper trousers. Caution. A maximum strength jump may shatter glass ceilings, windows, and children. Outdoor use only. Hmm. Welcome to Gunpoint. It's only my third time saying that. Uh, made by Tom Francis. With art by John Roberts and Fabian Van Something. Music by those guys. I can't read that fast. Alright. Conway, this is Melanie Rook. Salino Delgado worked for me. Do you have time to talk? Uh, how do you know my name? Selling your profile. And you... It's your phone's public ID, and you once gave it to me on a business card while saying my name is Conway. That could have been anyone. I know you didn't kill Selena. Well, right to the chase. I just watched the footage. You walked right in front of a security camera on your way to Selena's office after the shots were fired. But the East Point police won't look beyond an easy conviction. That footage puts you at the scene, and I have to turn it over to them. Why do you care? Selena was a friend. I want her real killer caught. In fact, I want him dead, but once he's in a jail cell, that becomes a bit easier to achieve. I have to hand that footage over if I have it. Let's make sure I don't. I've wiped my copy, but my camera feeds get backed up to data centers in five different off-site locations. If you can wipe them all, you're in the clear and the police will have to find the real killer. That actually sounds fairly wise. Head to the data sec facility at Port, he Port Heath. I'll make sure the front door is open, but you'll have to take it from there. So, the footage of you at the murder scene has been automatically backed up to five different locations. This is the closest. Get in there and wipe the data. This is the mission screen. We've got our available missions. Shop. All of these are super duper useful. Upgrades, one available. The bullfrog is uh, our pants, our magic pants, and I think jump strength is very important right now. So, let's get in there and wipe some footage. On the top floor of this building, there's a bank of servers with a computer nearby. If you can get to that, you can wipe the evidence that you were at our offices when Selena was killed. How do I get in? You know, I'm a spy, but you should tell me. I've had one of our tech guys open the front door for you. Their electrical systems are hackable from here, but for obvious reasons their servers aren't. Alright, how do I wipe the data then? I've seen your abilities, this will be well with it. Seen your record, this will be well within your abilities. I've seen your abilities, this will be well within your record. Oh yeah. Uh, once you're in, the scrubber script I'm sending you will auto-wipe anything with today's date ending in .mp4. Basically, press W. And we're back in the game. So our bullfrog pants let us jump with amazing strength. It's fun. It is fun as hell. You can also jump through windows. Uh, not that one. Those are too high up to get a good line. So like I can jump onto it, but not through it. I can turn the lights on and off. Now this game is, uh... 
hard to explain stealth puzzle, I guess? So, first email. Subject, private security. I've heard grumbling lately from some officers about your private security assignments. Since we merged with the city's largest security firm, the East Point Police Department now serves both roles. That is fucked up. Police shouldn't do that. You might not like working for a corporation, but your job is the same. Protect and serve. With the endless budget cuts we've been through, the new funding from this merger is the only reason you even have halfway adequate equipment. Basically, tough. Mayfield. I don't know who that is. So this game is Stealth Puzzle. And this is just the very, very beginning tutorial levels, so... Oh, we might as well just go... And then we go into the subway to escape. So... That level doesn't really show what, what's happening. And this is violence. Didn't hurt anyone. Witnesses? None. Noise? A bit. Time? Some. Empty time bar is, like, the fastest that they think is possible, and a full bar is double that. It says that right at the bottom. Noise. Uh, yeah. Client rating is 8+, plus, which is great. Pay, 30 bucks. Laptops, that was the email we got, and an upgrade point. Ah, uh, good job. Walking through already open doors is my specialty. Our feeds are backed up at four more facilities. The others are slightly better guarded, but nothing too taxing. I'll give you the addresses in order of security, since frankly I have no idea how good you are. Thanks for giving my personal crisis a difficulty curve. Anytime. You'll see a mission briefing for job on Proudmoor Drive. Take it. I'm hoping we can get through all these tutorial missions in this first video. I might make it a little longer if I have to, to make sure we do. And I'm gonna spend this upgrade and have my phone ring at me. Uh, let's go strength again. I'm realizing I forgot, like, all the normal setup stuff, because it's late and I'm tired. Alright. Proudmore Drive. Uh, the second backup from the cameras that caught you at the murder scene is on Proudmore Drive. Get in, wipe the data, get out, just like you did. The Westfield facility has better security. My guy can open the front door for you, but the door to the server room is secure. Two guards working tonight. Whoever's in the server room can probably open the door, so get him to do it for you. Isn't that kind of the opposite of a guard's job description? And I'm mainly asking these questions to uh, have them explain for you guys' benefit, because I've beaten this game twice already. I love it. Uh, it is, again, uh, opposite their job description, but these guys spend more time dealing with electrical faults than professional spies. Shouldn't be too hard to outwit them. And it's not. Guards will shoot on sight. The cursor turns red in areas that guards can see, like that. White, red. Uh, jump on them to pin them to the ground. Punch them to knock them out. Punch them, like, ten times? To, uh kill them. Only guards can use these red hand scanners. And they like the light. I don't like the light. So if you turn the lights off, they'll try to turn them back on. Uh, opening any doors that are necessary to uh, be able to try to do that. Which is great, because there are doors that you can't open. At least there are now. Not always. Upgrade point. And no closing dialogue. Alright, let's spend this upgrade on charge up time. And now this says, To get into the Ellis Street facility, you'll need to rewire the building's electronics. Now this is where the game gets cool. If you don't have a crosslink, buy one. Get crosslink. Now let's see what that does. I can't open the server room door on Ellis Street. There are no guards working tonight. You'll have to do it yourself. How? Any building wired in the last 20 years puts everything on a single power grid. The way things are connected is all handled in software, and software can be hacked. If you've got a cross-link, you can see all the connections and drag them around to work however you want. Make a light switch open a door or whatever. That doesn't seem like a great security feature. It's not. Anyone who's actually expecting a hacker puts all their important stuff on an isolated circuit. The data here is a backup of a backup of a backup. They're more worried about hard drive failures than spies. 
So what actually is Crosslink? I love this jazz. Oof. I can't sing. Anyway, uh, it's just a mod for your phone that lets you hack into a building's electronics and rewire stuff. Some security geek put it out in closed beta. The only people using it are espionage operatives and asshole kids. So, I fall into the first category. So yeah, here we are. Uh, it's totally empty. Uh, is this a hackable thing? Yes, cool. From Julian Mayfield, Chief of Police, to everyone in the police department. We're getting more and more reports of the electronics in these post-millennial buildings behaving strangely. Lights going out, but also more serious stuff like electronically locked doors suddenly swinging open. If you see anything like that, put it in your report. And play it safe, those doors open way too fast. Now that is a little hint, you can knock people out with doors. And here is where the game gets cool. Boom. So what we have here is this line indicating that this light switch will toggle the lights like that. But we can drag it away to this door to open it with the light switch. Later on you can get something that lets you just kick doors down. And I like to when I have the chance make it look like I was never here. You can make it, uh, I forget what I was about to say. Um, so yeah, Crosslink, it's cool. That's like how the puzzles work and such. And got more upgrade points, more money, great. The next terminal is on Loxley Close. By the way, be careful with the power sockets. They'll emit a shock if you crosslink something to them. Cool, cool. Let's get some more jump strength. No, oh, all right. Uh, no extra information. So yeah, now we can just pop in and out of crosslink mode whenever we want, and I can see all these connections. So first, also the music changes. First, I'm gonna knock this guy out. Then I'm gonna turn the lights off because he can see here. But now that it's dark, he can't. And also, he's unconscious, so that also keeps him from seeing me. Now, witnesses, uh, witnesses are counted if you just knock them out, but not if you kill them, I think. So now I've got full witnesses. Everyone who could have seen me did, uh, and is alive to tell the tale, which isn't totally optimal. I spent our upgrade, 85 bucks. Last one, and you're in the clear. The data sec place on Gershwin and Forth is the biggest and most heavily guarded but after this, there will be no evidence linking you with Selena's murder. Pay $50. I like that she's paying me to, like, help myself. This is the last facility with a copy of the footage, but it's stored on three different servers. You'll need to get to three different terminals and hack each one. Are you seeing anyone about your backup addiction? Well, you never know when a suspected murderer is going to try to systematically erase them all. You do, though, if you hired him, for example. Good luck. I guess I'll need it, so thanks. Now, our way in is on the second floor. Nice and easy. Let's put him in the dark. We can do that. It only knocks him out if they're standing right on top of it, so, like, I can get him. If I just wait a minute and boom. And so let's just make this whole place quite dark. I also want that door open. Let's see, the camera doesn't actually do anything. I guess uh, I, don't, I don't need it to do anything. I want that door open. So yeah, I work uh, kind of fast in the crosslink mode just because I know what I'm doing. Uh, I'll try to explain it a bit more. So these you can grab onto, and when the elevator arrives, they'll activate, 
and if they're activated, um, they call the elevator. So that's what that is. And also the guards aren't totally blind in the dark. They can see like that far. So if you go too far into that room, you do get shot, which isn't super fun. Now we have money. Violence, very, very little. Uh, witnesses, absolutely none, which is great. And time was relatively quick. So, well, I think that concludes our business. There's nothing left that links you to Selena's murder, so the East Point police aren't going to have to look, are going to have to look a little harder. If they don't find him, I will. And if they do, I'll know exactly where he is. I appreciate the help, whatever the reasons. Indeed. Well, nice to know you, Rook. And Collins, innocent. Hi, sorry to bother you guys. I don't know if this is the right place to post this, but I've just been arrested for murder, and I don't really know anyone, so I used my one call to post this. Hope you can help. Katie, pay $300. And that is where we will be starting off next time. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time on the game I've just forgotten the title of, whose title is actually Gunpoint. Can't believe I forgot that. Like, I seriously did. That's terrible. Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop recording now. Good night. That jazz, though. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm seriously stopping recording now.